Alrighty, we're back and we got ourselves a case of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty collector's boxes. I took one out, I'm going to put it in my personal collection of Singleton collector, collector's boxes that um, basically since they started coming out I've been keeping one personally. Uh, but that means we're going to rip five, this is obviously going to take more than one video so we're going to dive right in and uh, you know, stay tuned. Remember, you can pick up most of these singles at Manahunter at tcgplayer.com. And uh, without further ado, let's get into box one. Maybe we can get some neon love from the neon gods. Well, like I said, my buddy got, he pulled, What? what is the name of the guy? The magic card, the lottery number, dude. Hatsuko? Hatsuko? Hatsuko. Now let's see if we can get some interesting looking Hatsukos. Yeah, yeah, we want the red one. Red one and top of the yellow one. I think, I don't know how many colors there are. Okay, so I've only seen red and yellow. I would like to see any color, truthfully. But uh, I just love collector's boxes, who doesn't, right? So, I don't know if we're gonna post the regular draft box video. In those ones, I kind of did a little more in-depth look at the uh, commons and uncommon slots. Um, this one, we're just we're looking for the those those bangers, those hot cards. So we got some good draft stuff. We got some mediocre draft stuff. We got a foil mountain. We got a non-foil and a foil uh, showcase, which is kind of fun. Foil uncommon showcase. Uh, we got both the foil and non-foil infiltrators, fun. First foil rare, the Toad Rider. Oh man, whenever you cast an enchantment spell, if you don't control a creature named Kimi, create Kimi. A legendary 3-3 black and green frog creature with whenever you cast an enchantment spell, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Pay one black and one, or one blue or green, excuse me, and Tetsui Toad Rider and Target Fraud you control can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with flying and reach. So I guess it just leapfrogs over there. But yeah, um, encouraging people to play black, green, blue. What is that called? Uh, Simic. No, not Simic. Simic is just blue, green. Black, green, blue. Cannot remember. We got our first mythic. Cha ching. Full art too, but not a foil. I believe you can actually tell, ooh, that's, I wanna look at that in a second. Um, I think you can actually tell by, if you get um, a foil uncommon in this spot, then it's gonna be a non-foil on your full art. And if you get the, if you don't get a foil here, your full art will be a foil. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So yeah, we got, and I'm assuming this is the commander symbol. So I don't play commander, but it's another aura equipment sort of deal, um, looks pretty dope for a commander. Um, yeah, we got the soul of Kamigawa, Dragon Spirit, seems pretty good. And gotta love the full art treatment. Our first showcase rare, Jukai Visionary. I like a two drop legendary creature, make my Mox Amber work. And it's got channel, I believe this is gonna be going in the good pile. Um, and a fart, our first full art, Foil. So that, there goes what I was saying about that. Um, but yeah, we got the Ganjo Seat of the Empire. Not bad, not bad. Me Ganja, yeah, me Ganja. All right, pack two. Trying to say full art, say fart. fart, the fart, the Ganjo Seat of Empire. We got a foil fart, foil fart. That's just what we'll call all the full arts from now on, is foil farts. Yes, we got plenty of farts. Do love the tokens. Um, and you never know when your tokens are gonna randomly be worth money. Like people right now that have some, you know, original token merit lage are pretty happy. Kami of the Restless Shadows, the Not a Good Land. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. They're just loving giving us those mountains. Oh, mountain swamp, excuse me. I was wrong. Uh, Common, common, uncommon, uncommon. Foil rare. Foil fart. 
display of art and uh, the showcase of the calamity. Oh, and the restoration of it in Ganjo. So not a super banger, but again, this is a set that I'm not super familiar with, so I imagine we haven't seen the price stabilization points for any of these cards yet. Um, and, you know, they're still figuring out what's going to make its way into the uh, historic state, historic formats. I'm um, good, again, some good draft stuff. Um, maybe a few bucks in the commons and uncommons. We got the island, that's all you really need. Um, ooh, we got a one drop. I like me some one drops. Oh, what? Goblin guide, look out. If anybody can't see that, that's a two two for one with haste that basically just has dash. It just goes right back into your hand. Or you can discard it and draw a card. So that's good. Anybody know his channel instant speed? channel's instant speed then yeah look out for that guy he's an uncommon but that looks like a pretty solid card goblin guide hasn't had any real competition for a long time either they just keep doing this this is the second pack with the same card foil and regular yeah instant speed yeah so uh, uh for the price of an explorer you get to just draw a card and discard that thing it's not bad we got a foil mythic, so mythic number two, two, three, two. Mythic number two, Junji, another dragon spirit. See if we can see if we can get the whole collection of dragon spirits. Jun Junji does a lot of stuff. Seems like a pretty solid card. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be as good as like, you know, Archon of Cruelty or something like that. But uh, you know, not too bad. We got another fart, two farts. Two farts, three farts, Grease Fang. I just like the name. Um, we got Mardu Legendary to Human Samurai. With a Panamonicon trigger, that's, that's silly. That's just silly. I think some commander players really like that. And we got a four drop, three, three with haste that gets bigger and does some mean stuff. That seems pretty fun. They, they just put all the bangers in the collector's boxes, I guess. We ripped two draft boosters and got hose. Not to be confused with boats and hose, but just regular hose, like, like for civil protests, that kind of thing. Alrighty. Um, ooh, flying artifact spells cost one less to cast. That's, they just made a goblin Goblin Archaeomancer or whatever for uh, for artifacts. Fun. <clears throat> the eggs would be really good with this, right? Chromatic Sphere, Chromatic Star for free. Seem pretty good. Or maybe the Mystic Forge decks. I don't know. Uh, Foil Saga. That's a, that's a long saga. We got another mountain. They're, they're wanting us to play Grixis, guys. We're, we're gonna have to draft this and play a Grixis deck for sure. Just because we got the cool lands to do it with. Um, we got another foil on common, and did they do it to us again? They did not. They didn't get matching commons and foil and non-foil. We got the red legendary land. We're, we got white and red so far. We haven't seen our Besiju yet, but there is a Besiju to be had. Well, each case has to have a besiege. It would be mad if I open a case and don't get a besiege. Imposter mech. I like this. It's, it's a clone for two that has crew three. That could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. And it's a fart too, so. Gotta love the farts. Oh, another fart. Two farts. Two full art Aganjo Seat of the Empire. This one is alternate art, it looks like. And lizard blades coming in with the foil fart. Double strike. Creature has double strike. Me likey. Me likey. But uh, let's just see that Iganjo. Yeah, those are definitely different artworks for both of them being full art. I wonder what that's about. It's not, it's not a showcase. It's just a, just a different art. Thanks, Wizards. More variants to keep track of. Um, light paws. It's a pretty cat lady. Oh, a fox. Excuse me. That should be a cat. My wife would like it. All right, moving right along. We got another box to go through. Speaking of wives, I got a 
I got a hungry wife at home, I gotta feed tacos. The stuff about women loving tacos is just 100% correct. Like that's one of those stereotypes that's just really true. You can just talk with somebody. You can, you can literally, you know, save your marriage with tacos. <laughs> it's just a thing that's real. We got some pretty cool looking uncommons. I do like a one drop enchantment or a one drop saga seems pretty good. Um, just a little life drain and then it's a 2-2 two -two with menace and vehicles you control have menace. I'm not saying that's unplayable. I love I love a good common. That was a good common. We got our first forest. So there we go. We just need a planes and we got all five. Um, Imperial subduer looks cool. We don't know. Anything that says thief is usually pretty good. There's another rat ninja that I really like. There's our first foil showcase. Ours no. Not, I thought we got a showcase rare. Never mind. Invoke calamity. Fart Mugen of Cryptic Dreams. That has a really big casting cost. That's that's a lot. Um, we got a Saga. Mindlink Mech. I thought I saw something. No, it's a Brain Chip or Mind Chip, something like that. You can already go infinite with. I've already found, ooh, Foil Mythic. Haidzuku, Haid, Haidu, Hadetsuko. Hidesuko. Anybody? Hidetsuko. Hidetsuko. Hidetsugu. Hidetsugu. Consumes all. Destroy each non land permanent with mana cost one. Likey. Exile all graveyards. Likey. Then just return this. Yeah. Hit it, Suko. Hit it. Hit it hard. This, I like. I, this seems like a very, very good card. I'm not going to read all that. But uh, I'll let you guys get a good look at, you know, the shininess. I got the dyslexia on the camera, but yeah. <laughs> that seems like a fun card too. So in case you're wondering what the two piles are, uh, foils and full arts, and then uh, more bulky foils, in my opinion. Um, we'll scan them all later and find out, but yeah, it looks to me like, you know, these are the ones that piqued my interest or are otherwise commander stuff that'll go on the store. This is, yeah. Which is fun when you don't know much about a set. But uh, Colossal Sky Turtle. I know a guy that's going to want this. I got to send him a turtle. He get, collects all the turtles. And we got our planes. So there we go. All five colors. Got to like that. And so Blade Samurai, Aki Ronin, Moon Circuit Hacker. Uh, yeah, that was actually, I saw this being played in Legacy on MTGO the other day. Um, the Reality Chip, that's the one. Do not remember how to go infinite with it, but uh, I'm pretty sure, oh, one of these other YouTubers did it. If I can remember, I'll put the link in the description, but yeah, infinite combo territory. And I believe it was with cards from this set <clears throat> for the most part. I think there was like one legacy card in there, but I also think that that's just a damn good card in general. Oh yeah, it was in the Mystic Forge kind of thing. Um, we got a legendary spirit, not a dragon spirit. Full art fart. Shigeki. Jukai Visionary. We've already drawn one of these, but we got a fart version. That's good. Um, inventive Iteration. Might cost a little too much mana for what it does. And Brilliant Restoration. Return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. For the low, low cost of seven with four white pips. That seems difficult to pay for in that color scheme. They, they need to give white just a little ramp, just like a little bit. White ramp? White ramp. If it was just, like, screw, I mean, the color pie's been busted for years. Like, just come on. You know? I mean, they first of all, they changed the entire color pie from the beginning. Oh, look, they reprinted Spell Pierce. Never can get too many of those, except for we have too many of those. We literally do. Um, some decent commons and uncommons. Spell Pierce is great, you know, to draft, right? Um, ooh, we got another shiny ones. These ones really look good, foil. I'm not gonna lie, the showcase is shiny. Covert Technician. Where is the one drop that is a, it's a spring leaf drum. That, I want a couple of those because they're getting a lot of play for the uncommons and common slots. All right, we got a legendary two drop. Put a lore counter on each socket you control. That seems kind of weird. Um, 
when it dies, return Saga enchantment to control owner's hand from the graveyard to its hand. Weird, bouncy saga e things. So I guess if you're really, really into the sagas, maybe there's a saga deck coming out. I don't know. We got a fart plant hydra. Oh, that's enough fart jokes for one day, I suppose. Um, tribute to Hurabai. Two mana enchantments, two mana sagas. If it's three mana or less, and it has multiple effects and turns into a creature, I gotta say, this seems like a decent mechanic, right? You play a two, a two mana enchantment, it's already hard to remove, then it gives you two creatures, then it becomes a creature itself with flying and haste and a bunch of other... Oh, and then you can gain control of all rat tokens. That seems fun. Oh, you give your opponents rats, That's the, there's the downside. But uh, still, I mean, there's some value to be had in there. Looks like we're hitting it on the mythics again. Nope, not a mythic. No, cost, spells you cost, cost one less for each target. Oh, yeah, this is, I think this is the card for the infinite. So, it's like this in uh, reality chip? Or, yeah, I'm not sure, I'll have to look up that comp. But uh, we got the full art shiny one, I'm liking it. And again, that's that alternate artwork, but it's not necessarily showcase. I mean, that looks kind of showcasey, I guess, but... I guess the text box is covered. Yeah, I'd have to check the uh, the other one we got against a showcase version of it just to see if they have the same artwork. And just maybe, like, it being borderless made it look different. But, uh, yeah, we can keep moving right along. We got more samurai tokens. You are already dead. Destroy a target creature that was dealt damage this turn. And so you want that in your draft pack for sure. Thirst for knowledge they reprinted, huh? That's fun. Mech hanger. Seems seems fun. Um, Mardu Vehicles was a pretty mediocre deck that had a lot of potential, I think. So who knows? Maybe this will give it the gas it needs. Uh, one drop. That's again, yeah, if it's less than three mana, and yeah, again, it's like you get to drain them for two and then you get a two-two. Like, not bad. Pretty good value there, I would say. Some uncommons, some uncommons, some commons. Foil rare, the inventive iteration. Which again, I just think if it was like a three drop, it would work. But full art swift reconfiguration. This seems fun. Flash enchant creature or vehicle. It enchanted permanent is a vehicle artifact with crew five and it loses all other card types. Hmm. Weird form of removal. Oh, it's a commander card. Okay, never mind. Commander players, you guys tell me what you want to do with that. Because it seems a little a little weird. A Besiju! We did it! Oh, we got our first Besiju! Oh, I've been Besiju. waiting to get this one, yeah. And I mean, I don't know if it's hyped because, I mean, obviously that effect is uh, pretty... I don't know. You could use it to your own advantage, I guess. You know, you could basically use it as a... Um, crop rotation, right? Um, so if you have one legendary creature in play, then yeah, you can do this for one green and uh, destroy one of your own lands and go get a shock or a fetch or a dual land, depending on what format you're in. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think I think it has a lot of potential and I've been wanting to pull it since it was spoiled. So there we go, we're gonna put that over here in the happy pile. And our another mythic, that was a nice pack there. Not gonna, not gonna complain. Uh, the Kami War which is, oh God, do I say it? Is that what's happening right now? The Kami War? <laughs> I guess I do say, I guess I said it. Yeah, the Kami War. Exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls. <laughs> Return up to one other target non-land permanent to its hand. Blinky, bouncy, make a 6-6? Six, six? With a whole lot of words. Manifest is all colors, flying, trample, Whenever it attacks, defending play player chooses a non-land card in your graveyard, return that card to your hand, and it gets plus X plus zero, where X is the mana value of that card. Seems pretty good to me. Um, and a legendary creature, Samurai, that does some stuff. Additional combat phases, gotta love that. A combat Celebrant, we're gonna just chain those together, and it'll never be your turn again. One of my favorite things to do. Taking extra turns or extra steps is fun as long as it's not just a time walk, right? Like it just 
pay five mana to untap and do the same thing again. Not necessarily good. Um, unless you know what you're doing. Pretty decent removal in the right build for some sealed again. I bet this set's gonna be super fun to draft. I wish I could have made it out to draft night, but I did not. But I can just tell you right now, I can see some really good. And the ninjutsu for one, guys, like that's, come on, really? I mean, you why not? And it's a common, like it's gonna cost nothing and it's gonna make your ninjutsu deck just a little bit better. So there you go, ninjutsu for two. We got a tur turtle ninja. Come on, guys. Let's get that out there. Turtle ninja. It's a fucking ninja turtle. You put the dyslexic bastards. Turtle ninja. Ninja turtle. Just call it a ninja turtle. Come on, what are you worried about getting sued? You guys own everything. They're gonna do a ninja turtle secret lair like next week. Fucking cocksuckers. Ninja turtles. Sorry. All right. Ogre head helm. It's equipment. It is red. It is a rare and it is foil. Whenever it deals combat, you may sacrifice it if you do discard your hand and draw three cards. So yeah, that seems decent. Dredge maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, foil rare. We'll put it right there. Unquenchable Fury. Full art. March of Wretched Sorrow full art, but not foil. Higanjo Uprising. Nice. And Invoke Calamity. So full art, foil, rare, not bad. Where's the, where's the shiny beseech you? Where's the, where's the neon? I did, I did second bird. What is it? We, we find out his name, the neon guy we're looking for, so I don't sound totally stupid. Um, um, Seku Morosaki, who run the Oscar. All right, enough of that. Um, some comments. Um, decent comments. Some decent uncommons as well. Not a lot of showcase ones in that one, I'm surprised. So maybe that will have an effect on what we're gonna get. Hide and Suku. Yeah, so it's the hide and, we call them hide and seek. So we want a neon hide and seek, guys. And oh, there, I thought they did it again and gave us the two, but it's, they're not quite the same. All these samurai look alike. Oh, they did do it. There it is, Moon, Moon Snare Specialist. Foil, non-foil. Thanks, guys. Another foil, uh, Shigeki, you know, not a, not a snake ninja, ninja snake, bastards. Um, foil rare, we'll go right there, foil full art, or full art, non-foil, full art, non-foil, ginger taxius. I'm not going to complain about this box, I don't think. If it was foil, I would be a little happier, but uh, yeah, our first showcase mythic. Jinja Taxius is just one of my favorite characters. I, the whole Phyrexian and the whole Praetors, like that's, you gotta love that stuff. Oh yeah, so we'll check it out. We got Kodama of the West Tree. Oh, and we got the wife calling, I bet. And two more packs to go. Does it say the one? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's Lopez. Oh, I, I'm gonna answer it to her. You're in, you just interrupted the box break. Fucker, what are you doing? Playing magic? Yeah, I'm ripping magic cards, like your style. I've seen you got that fucking black bonus. No, I haven't got it yet. Oh. Uh, That's the plan, though. It's pretty sick. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find out the story behind it. But, uh, yeah, dude, I'm ripping two boxes of uh, collector's boosters for Kamigawa, ne for Neon Dynasty. I just pulled Ginger Taxius. We'll keep you on the line. Tell me, let you, you gonna, I got two packs left in this box. We need a hide and seek, a hide a sec, hide, How do you say it? Hidesugu. Hidesugu. Yeah, we need a, a neon shiny Hidesugu. We got one of the Go Shintai. No, ooh, I do like that swamp. It's slightly better than the other swamp. I played against that Jin, Jin. Taxis in um, pre-release. Yeah, they got to resolve and, it on you. Yeah, I resolved it and then won a game final. Yeah, I imagine so. Well, I love you, buddy. I'm gonna. Oh, oh stay on the line. We got to see what your packs are gonna be. Right. All right. We got 
the Foil's cross. Ass. We got Foil besiege you who endures. <laughs> Sick. Like your luck is still there now that you're here. We got Biting Palm Ninja, Full Art, Full Art Reality Chip, Ascendant Acolyte, and a Full Art Showcase Tatsunari Toad Rider. Oh yeah, that's the alternate art. I really like that better than the other one. All right, buddy. What are we gonna pull out of our last pack here? You gonna call it? Is it gonna be a hide and seku? I call it a lion sash. A lion sash. If it is, I'll send it to you. My favorite new card. No, Lopez's is favorite, favorite new card. Is that an uncommon or rare? Yeah. Uncommon? Yeah, it's good. We did not get a lion sash, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, we did get a planes. A Peerless Samurai with Menace, Jukai Trainee, Mukatai Ambusher. They did every single, did they do this in every pack? Foil, non-foil of the exact yeah. same card showcase. That's crazy. Invoke the Winds, Kappa Cannoneer. All right, that's already, like, that's a good card right there. Kappa Cannoneer, go look that up. Improvise Ward 4, uh, whenever an artifact you control enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Can't be blocked. Yeah, Ward 4, Improvise, that's, I mean, that's, this isn't, this isn't Hogak broken, but it's fucking broken, let's be real. Oh, we got another Full Art, uh, Nashi Moon Sage, so, a Mythic, I think that's a Mythic number 7, I want to say, Thousand Faced Shadow, seems interesting, March of Otherworldly Light, Full Art Foil. No hide and suko. Really light is pretty good. I'm playing it right now. Lantern Control. Well, I just uh, actually bought a copy of Lantern Control, but it still has the Mox Opals in it, so I gotta update it. Well, thanks for tuning in for the box break, buddy. But I gotta hang up and do the outro of the video and stuff. Love ya. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Peace. One more box. We're not done yet, but we got some besiege boys. We got three besiege now. Two? Is it two? Just two. I just, well, one was foil and one was non-foil. That was the deal. We got a foil. We got a foil to see you in there. Yeah, that Kappa, what is it called? Uh, can, can, Kappa Cannoneer, yeah. Blastoise. I just saw Pleasant Kenobi. Uh, if you don't guys, if you guys don't watch Pleasant Kenobi, he's probably my favorite out there at the moment. Shout out to you, buddy. But I saw your short on the Blastoise there. And uh, yeah, that Pokemon is busted. <laughs> like, I mean, can you imagine it in an Urza deck? Like, ugh, gross. It, it, it does remind me of like one of those, oh, thank you. Just one of those uh, cards that like R&D wasn't really paying attention to. It's a commander card, so thank God. But I mean, that it can still be played in Legacy. So be watching out, boys. And yeah, there's a lot, there's a Legacy blue artifact deck that is crazy good already right now. Can't remember what they call it again. No, uh, it's uh, pretty recent. It was mentioned in the, uh, if I can find the link, I'll post uh, Pleasant Kenobi's video about it in here. But yeah, very, very busted deck with, that doesn't need any more like bombs in it like that. Um, so our first foil rare out of the first pack of this one is a reasonably priced sorcery with minimal effects. One with the Kami, Kami, full art. One with the Kamis. I'm one with the Kamis. Surge Hacker Mech, full art. <clears throat> Thundering Raiju. Again, I like that card. It's a Ganju Uprising foil, full art. Not bad, not bad. Cause that's what you really want is to see that last foil, that last full art card be the foil. Um, <coughs> especially if you're gonna pull that hide it suku. Hide and seek, hide and suku. They're hiding it, I am currently seeking it. I don't, I don't, I haven't gotten to see. But why don't you just say modular and duh. Sorry we had to cut real quick there, but yeah, I, do believe that this should be Splinter and that the former uh, Turtle Ninja should be a Ninja Turtle. God damn it. Splinter. Um, yeah, we just got some 
decent commons there. We're at our third swamp. The weird one that looks like it's got roller lines on it, right? Like, I think everybody that pulled this at first was like, oh cool, I got a defective one. I was like, no, they made it that way. Comes pre-broken, like jeans with tears already built into them. Foil lion sash. Now I owe Lopez a lion sash, I think. It's a good card, people, I'm telling you. Aerial Surveyor, Kami of Transience, the Toad Rider again, and Foil Full Art Mythic for the first time. Not true, the Blazing Skies. So Dragon Spirit, we're at three out of five Dragon Spirits. Some pretty cool Foil Art stuff, and yeah, I'm not gonna complain about that pack either. I love me some collector's boxes. At the very least, you get a bunch of shiny lands and a bunch of cool stuff to look at. The art is been impeccable in these sets, I'm not gonna lie. Especially for this type of deal. Virus Beetle, I don't like the sound of that. Um, some good draft pack. Two color, like white and black, straight out of a pack. Ready to draft. Nice. And if you're asking, yes, I draft that fast. I'm like, two good cards, we're going this route. This is, um, I don't, I'm not going back. We got some pretty shiny showcase ones. And one of these days I am gonna just build a deck of all showcase going back to like Throne of Eldraine. And people think I'm playing with Pokemon cards and shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with your deck? Because it does not look like magic cards. And I'm okay with that. I enjoy it. Ooh, full art battle armor. Umazawa, Umazawa himself, Satori. I mean, you know what? In celebration of this, I'm gonna post some uh, some jites onto the site. I like that. Kami of Transience and Invoke Despair full art. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. All right, guys, we got an entire six packs to go. We got a six pack to go. We need a pound. Six pack and a pound. <laughs> Fucking good deal. Yes. Six pack of the CGs I would take. I'd take one hide second. But we got a whole case to go through, guys. Don't remember. Tune into the next videos. If we don't get them here, we will get them here. Right. The quest for hide second. Oh, that's, that, is, that is the wrong way to open a pack. Oh, that wasn't on camera, I don't think. Thank God. But, uh, yeah, that's how you damage cards. We got a common, another common. We did not get any of the ones that I actually want to talk about either, so that's good. Forest, um, Obro, I just like the name. There it is again. Uh, foil, non-foil. Uh, foil Mythic. They're just throwing those Mythics at us, aren't they? Um, cost one less for each tapped creature. So you have to tap them. It's got Invoke, uh, apparently. Organic Extinction has Improvise. That's pretty good, I would imagine. And uh, the Little Mech, March of Otherworldly Light. We're hearing good things. Ooh, and we got the Blue Spirit Dragon, Dragon Spirit. See, you guys are doing it wrong. Ninja Turtle, not Turtle Ninja. Kahiri, the Swirling Sky, Flying Ward 3. When it dies, choose one. Return any number of target non-land permanents to their owner's hand. Blinking big things, milling lots of cards, and putting instants and sorceries back in your hand. Sounds pretty good to me. Awful pretty though, like my goodness. Tell me there's not foil etching in these, this cycle. They just listened to my last video and didn't fucking make etched foils. Cause so now the foiling on that seems kind of strange. Like there's, like the scales are foil, but the like art on the snakes or the dragon's body is not. Interesting, very interesting. All right guys, plugging right along. We got a samurai, I think we've gotten a lot of samurais in this. Terrarium, yeah, not bad again. Good draft stuff. Good draft stuff, good lands. Play sets of things that we didn't have play sets of before. Moon Circuit Hacker again, Ninjutsu for one. It's gonna be pretty good. 
uh, Kami of the Transcendence. Again, I really like the card, and at the mana cost, seems pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you think I'm wrong, but that sounds like a good card to me. Thundering Raiju and Ogrehead Helm. Weaver of Harmony, I've not seen this yet. Enchantment creatures get plus one, plus one. Copy, target, activate, retrieve the ability. You control, you may choose no copies. That is interesting. So you can draw more cards in Enchantress. And it's a snake druid, not a ninja snake. Lots of snakes, ninja snake, snake ninja. Don't, don't make me say it, man, come on. Ninjutsu, I guess you gotta have lots of ninjas, but I mean, if you're putting the word ninja and turtle in the same sentence, you put ninja first all at all times. I get ranted at. Um, mythic number four, five, four. Uh, Ao the Dawn Sky, White Dragon Spirit. I think that completes the cycle. I'm pretty sure we got all of them. Um, and some of them, Foil Filardi. Filardi. Um, uh, that's not a commander card. This is the commander. Okay, well, he costs eight with three black mana, so I don't really care. This looks interesting. Um, March of Wretched Sorrow is not going to be good. Uh, the White Dragon Spirit Full Art Foil Treatment. And a pilot. We have a pilot. She's not a dwarf pilot, but she's a pilot. We're burning right through them here. I think uh, the first box was better so far, but there's been some decent stuff in here, I'm not going to lie. I think both boxes were pretty decent. Pretty decent. Lands are beautiful. Moon Snares Specialist. I just I can't believe we haven't seen the uh, Springleaf Drum Creature. That's I saw they were running like four of it in a Legacy deck, so that's usually a good sign. If you if your standard cards are rotating down to Legacy, then you should be happy. Rat Ninja Cyber Splinter. That's what we call that. That's the fourth March of Other Otherworldly Light. Using this as Lantern Control, my buddy says. Seems pretty good. Universal Surveillance, just the state we live in. Clouds to Kirin, all right. Springleaf Avenger, too expensive. Ogrehead Helm, all right. Coming down. Hide it second. Believe. With the power of belief, anything is possible. Taki War Paint. Unu Besiju, Imperial, Imperial Recovery Unit. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Beautiful lands. We got some samurai, some more samurai, some more. Sa oh, there we go. Duplicate pack again. Moon Circuit Hacker, Moon Circuit Hacker. What a strange, strange thing to happen. It, like, feels like their their system's off over there. At Wizards of the Coast. Distribution's getting wonky. We got the living lore again. That seems a little strange because adding counts to your uh, sagas does not, doesn't seem like what you want to do with the saga, but maybe I'm wrong. We got the fable of the mirror breaker. Foil full art besiege you. There's the playset. That's the foil full art. We got the playset. I, th I think that's that's what we were going for. We wanted to pull some besiegeus. We got some besiegeus. That means if we can accomplish that one goal, then I feel like we could we could accomplish a Hide Seku. We have more boxes. We can do it. All right. Samurai token again. Short circuit. Great movie. Number five is alive. Johnny five. Yes. Number five is alive. <laughs> Your mother was a snowblower. <laughs> That's, yeah. If anybody gets that reference that's, you know, above 25 years old, you're you're cool in my book, man. Selfless Samurai, Juke Trainee, another turtle. Man, turtle ninja. Ah! Turtle, ninja turtle. Make it, make it say ninja turtle. This is a misprint. Fuckers. Unsnare Specialist Foil, not bad. The Dragon Kami Reborn. Sounds pretty cool to make a zero one. 
Oh man. That's just a lot of a lot of stuff. But it seems pretty interesting. Iron Soul Enforcer for the commander players. Some more of the mirror breakers. Another mythic full art spirit sisters call that is a very expensive enchantment with a lot of words on it that i'm not going to read because my voice is going out and we got our last foil rare with the well, i do like the foil showcase it's got to say and i like x spells so create x number of two two white samurai creatures with vigilance they gain menace and haste until end of turn each opponent creates x minus one so oh you give them one and you get one more than they get sounds good well that was fun we'll do a quick recap here pull out some of the heavy hitters i think what we'll just do is put the full arts and the full art foils in one pile and everything else in like another pile so we'll do that <coughs> yes we'll get a pile of besieges going on and, the, and those mythics too we want to get a good count on the mythics we ain't got a brush all right so yeah lots of full arts we'll just put them with the showcase one there we go um more full arts almost than regular foil mythics or foil rares excuse me um oh yeah we want to see did we get the full full service five legendary dragons i love dragon rotations i always want all five dragons like especially when there's six like there's the multicolored one too right we got a bunch of the marches just a bunch of good commander cards i'm sure uh there's the other dragon spirit this one's the mythic one we'll put that with the mythics uh foil showcase just regular showcase thundering rain thundering raja ruthless judgment Foil Mythic, Full Art, Showcase. You guys gotta, you gotta quit it with the variants. Like, these sentences are getting crazy long. I got the Foil Alternate Art Japanese Etched Foil Old Master Retreatment Dragon Spirit Turtle Mech. Did I get it all? Okay. March of Other Words of Light. There's another Foil Mythic. Mythic count on two boxes is pretty dang high. Foil Full Art. Um, we miss, I don't think we missed a dragon yet, but, oh, there's the next dragon. If we could have placed that of foil, full art, legendary dragons, I won't complain about it. I don't care if they're worth a lot of money. I, I just, I love dragons. Everybody, everybody does. Okay. We're going to just have to move the bulk stuff over here so we can get all them besieges out in this light. Not to mention the Ganju castles are just really pretty. Um, Lion Sash again is a card I'm going to take aside. I don't know what the price on it is right now, but I do know that it is a very playable card. Um, God, they just were hitting us with the commander stuff too, I'm not going to lie. Um, looking, looking real good, guys. We're looking real good. Um, Jinja Taxius, I think, is kind of the S-tier stuff too. And there's another mythic. The art. That art. Give me that art. I do like all of those, but uh, I don't think it's anything worth like making a big deal about. Like I said, March of Otherworldly Light, seeing some play. Foil Full Art's never gonna hurt. Kappa Cannoneer. We're gonna put him in the S tier pile just because he's ridiculously overpowered. Ban it, it's gonna happen. There's another Toad Rider, Foil. Oh, there's our Ginger Taxius again. That means I've been putting, I gotta put the mythics all together. I just wanna see two boxes. You would, you would think 10 mythics is pretty average, I would say, but I think we're getting above that. Um, invoke the Ancients, Invoke Calamity, Iganjo Uprising. Like, where did all the borders go? We just have no borders. We've got a turtle ninja. It's not a ninja turtle, and it's also an uncommon. But yeah, that's not bad. There's some bulks in there, but we'll get them out. Rise of the Storm's Edge. Again, I think that's a good one. Uh, the Kami War. No comment on the Kami War. Um, but another Besiju, you say? Without it, we haven't got a border yet. We're about to, but we don't have one yet. Um, legendary creature, Kieran Spirit, but I do like the foil. 
Yep, and just going nuts on the borderless, aren't they? Brilliant restoration. Again, little crazy bulk, bulk. Um, not sure. If I'm not sure, we'll put it up there. Harutsugu controls all. We got his saga, guys. We got the foil saga. We can get him. Uh, there we go. A little bit of bulk, a little bit of good. We got full play set of Iaganju, the Lizard Blades, Imposter Mech, Grease Fang. Where's the one? Did we not? Was I miscounting? We only we only got three Besiege, you guys. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Out of that, let me just do a quick check, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I thought so too. Did I miss one? Let's see here. Oh yeah, I think I overlooked the dragon. But where is... Oh, if the, oh, if the dragon's a mythic, that was the deal. I was wondering, because I was like, we have more mythics than that. Well, let's just start with the mythic, mythic count, and I'll check for that fourth besiege over here in a second. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mythics. It is pretty good, pretty good. So... Either I put a besiege you in this pile and didn't realize it, or I put a besiege you in this pile and didn't realize it. This is my life, is setting down magic cards and then not remembering where the fuck I put them. You can ask Austin, he'll tell you. Makes everybody's life really easy when I do that too. Was I just miscounting? Was I getting overly excited about the number of besiege I have here? I randomly, oh, it is a foil common, or a foil rare, I mean, so it might have just got stuck in the foil rare pile over here. Ah, here we go. Besiege number four. There she is. We did have some good stuff in this pile that I didn't really quite look at, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's us today. Come back for the next section of boxes. Remember, you can find all these singles at TCG Player at manahunter.com. And uh, we'll see you on the flip.